Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and in this episode I'm going to show you how to bypass a smart uh, charging alternator on a Citroen C4 Cactus So, as you can see I've had to jump start this car again because the alternator is not powering the battery So I've just picked up my little cheap um, Powerfix alternator and battery char uh, uh, checker and the battery which is a brand new, less than a week old, is 12 volts and as you can see from the alternator function, the alternator is not charging. So what we need to do is disconnect this lead here which will then start charging the alternator. The car laboured there a wee bit, but that's basically the alternator disconnected. And if we go back to our battery and alternator checker, you can see that it's beginning to charge. It's charging OK. So I'm just going to switch the engine off. So I'm back in the car now. So basically what it is, is it requires a software update from Peugeot or Citroen. Now, most, um, some dealers will try and deny that it's a recall issue. This was a on a recall in a technical service bulletin and I've spoken to a couple of garages today. One garage is going to charge me £126 just to stick it on a diagnostics machine. Which I think is a, a joke. But I've also spoken to a Citroen specialist who the moment I told them what the issue was basically said oh that's a software update. So I've basically um, disconnected the smart alternator and that will now charge the battery at 14 volts. It will also, put on any warning lights on the dashboard. You'll hear the car labour a wee bit and then it's sorted. There's no, there's not any battery warning lights or error messages displayed the car's running and it's charging the battery so that's just a little temporary fix so if you are having problems with your battery on your um, Citroen C4 Cactus or any car with a 1.2 PureTech HMZ engine then te you can temporarily disconnect the alternator lead that powers the smart charger to the battery, uh, smart charging alternator to the battery, and that should then start charging your battery. Then I would recommend you contact your local Peugeot or Citroen dealer or a Peugeot specialist and get the car in for the ECU update on this. So if you have any queries, please do not hesitate to drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll catch you in another future video of Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. Farewell.